the Old Testament book of Esther is very unique because at no point is God's name ever mentioned, yet at the same time, we see God's handiwork throughout that entire book for his people. And it shows us that God has no problem working behind the scenes for his people. One thing that a lot of people love about the this about the book of Esther is the idea of God using the right person and the right place at the right time. And we're often quick to associate that idea with ourselves. Well, maybe God is using me and I don't see it. And we can use this idea to help us cope with seasons of loneliness or self-condemnation, or maybe we feel useless to the Lord, like, you know, we're not really useful to Him. We can use ideas like that to combat our own personal struggles. Here's something that I want to give just as food for thought, and it goes back to this truth that our contentment, our identity, everything that we are as God's people should be found resting in the person and in the finished work of Jesus Christ. You talk about God using the right person in the right place at the right time, there's not a greater example than Jesus Christ himself. His purpose was to come to earth to redeem the world from our sins. And all of us who have accepted him, who have uh, placed our faith, who have given our lives to him, acknowledging him as our risen Lord and Savior, we have an identity in him. We know who we should at least know who we are in Christ. And now that we are positionally in Christ, we have access to unending peace that surpasses all understanding. We too have victory over death, hell, and the grave because his victory is our victory. Thank God that he uses the right people in the right places at the right times. And the greatest example of that is Jesus Christ. And since Christ has already been used, if you will, 2,000 years ago for my behalf, I don't have to lose sleep, honestly, about how much use I am to God. The fact that I have a testimony in Christ already makes me useful to the kingdom of heaven. Share your testimony with people. That is one of your greatest weapons, is the testimony of what the Lord has done for you in Christ.